Hello, welcome to Fitness with Resistant and New Band with Katie. So we're going to meet our two types of uh, resistant band, the long one and the loop one. So we're going to start in the chair and we're going to end with um, work out on the yoga mat. So let's sit comfortably. Inhale your arms up, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep, inhale through your nose and deep, deep, exhale through your nose. Whenever we'll our breath. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to come down. Two more times. Inhale to lengthen, exhale down. One last one. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Come into a gentle twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Using the front hand to help you turn a little bit more. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, and we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Turning the neck as well. Stretching out the lower back muscles as well. One more breath. We're going to slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent looking up. Slowly, slowly release hands on your thighs. Stretching out the neck next, you have to shoulder extend the opposite arm up. Using the same hand, thigh or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly release the other side. You have to shoulder extend the opposite arm up. Using the same hand, guide or support the head. Stretch. Slowly come back to center. Shoulder strap, right arm up, and across, pull back. Craving resistance, looking forward. And release. Same arm up, we lengthen, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide up. Try such stretch. Chin up, looking forward. And release. Shake it out, the other side, arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Slowly release, same arm up, we length the first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide up, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. One side might be more flexible than the other side. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Hands on the shoulders. Up. We'll say that was up. Keep going. Just going to stop the back. Coming into a full circle. Try to draw the elbows in. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into forward bend. Inhale your arms up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Then go here for a moment, holding onto opposite elbows. Release the head down. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Just be mindful that the head is below heart. If you don't feel well, if you start feeling dizzy, you need to slowly come out of this. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly rise up. Then your breath pressure get adjusted. Once you come up, you're going to go back, bend the counter, place your hand 
on your lower back, pinky setting, squeeze the shoulder blade together, lifting the chin up, head back. Opening up lung, heart, chest, improving your posture, stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. And you should also feel the pinch in your shoulder blade. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. And we're gonna go and grab a loop band. Different strength. So pick one that you like to work on today. Adjust your posture. Place the band on your forearm. When you're ready, open shut. Shoulders relax down. Stomach and chest proud. Feel the resistance. Four, three, two, one. Raise it above your head. So adjust your band if it is coming in then. Once again, small little movement. Two more, one more. Slowly, slowly release. A little bit on one shoulder. Opposite hand, hold on to it. The other hand, move your thumb through, tuck the elbow, close your body, pull back. Four, three, two, one, slowly release, switching side. Opposite hand holding on to the opposite strap. The other hand, loop the thumb through, tuck the elbow, close your body, and pull back. Good resistance. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Release, shoot the arrow. Loop the thumb through, hold on. The other hand, pull back. Just be mindful that over time, through wear and tear, your and may snap. Just be careful. Four, three, two, one. Switching side. Control your movement. Four, three, two, one, slowly release. Bring it behind your back. So you end up holding on to both ends. Now we're trying to pull the top one up, and because this is a shorter band, so the range of motion may be limited. So the bottom arm can be stationary.
four, three, two, one, release, switch inside, take your time to set up. Bottom of arm can be stationary. Top arm, pulling up. Four, three, two, one. Placing both legs into your lap. Bring it high up. Just your seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Open shut. Open. Toes pointed out. In. Toes pointed on the in. Third resistance. Let's do another set. Strengthening, toning up muscles. And maintaining bone density as well. Four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to center, adjust your seat. Place it on the cat. They can hold on, lift your feet up, point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale up, exhale down. So you can hold on to your chair, or you can place your hand on your thighs. Feel your big muscle, your set working, calves, ankle joint. So from the hip joint to the feet, it's all one unit. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Four. 
Nice and slow of control. Don't kick. Let's do another four. Three, two. One, stay up here, small little movement. Keep going. For four, three, two, one, very good. Slowly release and just remove your bed. Doing a few round shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. Go the other way. One up, one down. Go the other way. Slowly release, shake it out. Grabbing your long resistant band. Yeah, then with your thumb, we're gonna bring it chest level. Extend your arms out. Shoulder height. Shoulders on top of hips, stomach and chest power. Four, three, two, one. Bring it behind your back. Take your time to set up. First of all, we're gonna tuck the elbows close to your body and extend. Let's do a few more. Two. One last one. And release. Now we're gonna bring it behind our backs. Now because we have a longer band now, so you can adjust it. And then you can pull both upper and lower arm. Alternatively, the bottom hand can be stationary, your choice. Four, three, two. One, release, switching side. When you're ready, pull. Top and bottom arm can pull. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. And we're gonna go shoot the arrow. 
adjust the length of the band. So maybe you don't need a longer one. So we'll try it out. Four, three, two, one, switching side, shoulder height, don't go any higher or lower. Close to your body, adjust your band, palm facing up. Inhale to bring it up, exhale down. Now feel the resistance. I'm going to inhale all the way up. Down. Now while we're up here, we're gonna add a band. Center, the other side, center, lower down, all the way down. Combination. Yeah. Keep going, come back to center. <clears throat> Over here and down. <clears throat> Keep going with the pattern. <clears throat> One last set. All the way down, shake it up. Coming into a big figure eight. So you may need a longer band. Pick your movement. And we're going to change direction, go the other way. Slowly come back to center. To release, shake it out and do a little bit on our back. So I'm locking my handle. I'm going to place it on one side of the thigh. Make sure it's comfortable for you. Sit down nice and tall, adjust your posture. Open, toes up, in, toes in. Now this is uh, a longer band, it's resistant band, so it's a, maybe a different feeling from the loop band. Four, 
four, three, two, one, slowly release. Place it on your calf. Inhale up, exhale down. You can have hands on your thigh, uh, calf, quarters up, or holding on to your chair. Control your movement, we're not kicking. Inhale up, exhale. Three, two, one, come back up, smaller movement. Feel the burn, feel the sensation. Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Stepping on one side, so one side shorter than the other side, you adjust. Once again, pull it up, shoulder head. Elbows. Tuck by your body. If this is too loose for you, make your band shorter. Control your movement. No need to rush. Four, three, two, one, the other side. If you like, can sit closer to the side of the chair. Palm facing up, have the elbow close to your body. Pull it up. Make sure you're not carrying any tension in your shoulders, upper back. Four, three, two, one, slowly release, sitting back into the center of your chair. Now we're going to go both arms, adjust your band. If you need a shorter band, so widen the stance so of no choice. Doing a combination now. Single, single. Double, double. Single, single, double, double, single, single, double, 
double. Keep going. Go at your own pace and your own breath. Let's do one last set. Single, single. Double, double. Slowly release, crisscross. Just your posture. Palm facing down. Bring it up to the shoulder height. Now, if this is where you at, perfectly fine. Just keep going. Lots of air, so I'm going to stop the music. <clears throat> now let's do a combination single, single, double, double, single, single, double. Double. Keep going. One last set, single. Single, double, double. Slowly, slowly, release. And we're gonna get ready to stand up. So take your time to stand up. Take water if you need. First, we're gonna do a few rounds of cat and cow. Spread all your fingers. Wrist underneath the shoulder. Hips and your ankle are aligned, not sticking the butt out, not bending your arms. When you're ready, inhale, drop your belly chin up, look up into your cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in place, looking down into your cat. So we're going to keep going at your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Two more. And one last one. Slowly come back to center, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale, inside and exhale, turn over look the right shoulder, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the left, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to neutral, swing side to side, release any tension that you may have. And slowly rise up to standing. Stretching out hamstrings. So we're going to place one foot on your chair. This is too high for you. Leave it on the ground. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale your hinge, leading with the chest. Fold forward. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Don't round the back or drop the head. Feel the stretch here. Hamstring. If this is too tight for you, slightly bend the knee. Walking the standing leg and ankle as well. And we're gonna stay here for four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly rise up and release. Shake it out, the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front. Inhale, your arms up, relate them. Exhale, we hinge, leading with the chest. Neck is long, spine is straight. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. 
slightly bend the knees if needed if you have tight hamstring and we're going to stay here for four three two one slowly slowly rise up to release and we're going to grab a hold of the ankles knees together kick the foot into your hand quadricep stretch you can hold on for support or you can turn it into a balance pose slowly release shake it out the other side grab a hold of the other ankle kick the foot into your hands knees together holding on for support if you want to turn it into a, a balance pose release and if you fall out of it just get back in you should feel the stretch in your quarters up One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Very good. And we're going to go back to the resistant band. We're going to place one foot on your band, the other hand holding onto your chair, and we're going to have a small, little backwards kick. Squeeze your glutes in tight. So, in another word, squeeze your butt in tight. A small little movement, feel the resistance, working the entire leg. Four, three, two, one. Slowly release, shake it out, switching side. So take your time, holding on to your chair for support. Stabilize yourself, grounding the standing leg, small little movement. Your glutes, which means your butt, are firm, working the entire leg. Four, three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna switch legs again. Grab a hold of the handle, so make it shorter. The other hand holding on. Inside leg is the standing leg. Forward, down. Side, down. Back, down. Doesn't have to be a high kick. Keep going. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Walk it out. Lifting the knee up. So we're flexing the foot to keep the and in place, feel free to adjust if you need a shorter one, grab a hold of lower, hip opener, slowly rotate the hip joint. Just do a couple more. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, alternating bending your knees and we're going to move to the other side. So make room. We're going to place the outside foot into the band. Inside leg is the standing leg. So shift the weight to the standing leg, holding onto your chair for support. And we're going to inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, open up at the side. Slowly come down, back. So we're not kicking. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Oh. 
Only open as wide as you're comfortable. Let's do one last one. Forward, down, side, down, back, down. Alternating, bending your knees, release tension. And we're gonna shorten the band, lift the knee up. And we're gonna come into a circular motion. Hip opener, only raise the leg up to where you're comfortable. more and one last one slowly slowly release very good we're going to push this chair aside a little bit more and we're going to get ready for the chair pose we're going to need more room here place both feet into your strap now we're going to get this motion going first. Slightly tuck the toes in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. And when you're ready, you're going to go single first. Be mindful of anyone who has knee issues. Walking with your breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. We'll do a combination, single, single, double, and double. Take your time. Strengthening the quadricep in this squatting motion. Firm up your glutes as well. You don't have to go very far down. Let's do one last set. Single, single. Double, double, slowly come up, shake it out. We're going to go crisscross. So, foot up first, shoulders height. Now, this is where you're at, perfectly fine. So, as we move on, if you find that this color band is too easy, and if you need further challenge, just move up to the next string. So start with a light one, extra light or light, and then move up to medium. Combination, single, single, double, double. Soft knee, don't lock your knees. One last one, single, single, double, double. Very good, loosen up. So we're gonna step out off the band for now. Doing a few rounds of shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. Go the other way, loosen up. Make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it out to release. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. 
Inhale, shoulder side. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale, shoulders up. Lots of tension here. Oh, shake it out. And we're going to look one foot in our bend. The other one, hold on. So we're going to come to a warrior stand. Now we're going to tuck this elbow, push our body. So bring it up and extend. And if there's too much bend, you can make it shorter. So the other hand can be on your waist for support. Control your movement here. Four, three, two, one last one. Switching side. We're we'll gonna place back on the outside foot, coming into our warrior stand. So you adjust the length of your band. The other hand can be on your waist for support. Inhale up, exhale, extend. Nice and slow. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Stepping both feet into your band. So repeat this. Inhale up, extend the arms up. So inhale up, exhale, extend. Take your time. And we're gonna to go to the combination. So single, single, double, extend. Single, single, double, double. Single, extend, single, extend. Double, extend, another double. Soft knees, don't walk your knees. Continue to breathe normally. One last set. Single, extend, single, extend, double, extend, another double, slowly, slowly release. Very good. Now we're gonna get ready to come right down on the mat. So set yourself up. We're gonna do a few rounds of hula hoop first. Hands on your waist, soft knees, loosen up. Go the other way. Slowly come back to center. And make your way down to the mat. Take water if you need water. And we're gonna keep everything close to us. We're gonna move the chair aside. Before you lie down, we can place the loop band on the thigh. So come lie down on your side, glue the feet together. When you're ready, 
clamshell, open shut. Feel the resistance, nice and slow with control. Four, three, two, one. Move it down to the cap. Feet together first, and when you're ready, small lower movement. Feel the sensation. Couple more. Slowly release, switching side. So take your time to come up and we're gonna move the band higher up first to your thighs. We're gonna get ready for clamshell. Glue the feet together, bend both knees. Open shut. Four, three, two, one. Slowly release, and we're gonna move it further down to the cap. Make a straight, small little movement. Four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly come lie down on your back. The next one is bridge pose. So take your time to set up. We're going to bring the bed on our thighs. Walk the heel, close your fingertips, press firmly on the mat. Release the spine down, giving the natural curve in your lower back. I'm down by your side. Now, when you're ready, inhale up, exhale down. If you want to do exhale up, that's perfectly fine. Coming into a bridge pose, engage your core abdominal muscles, your quarter sac, and your glutes. So, in other words, we're squeezing the stomach in tight, thighs and butt are firm. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we're gonna add the arms. Inhale up, bring the arms up above the head. Exhale, lower everything down. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong. When you come up, all the way in the shoulder, grab a little weight in the head or neck. Chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland as well. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to stay up here, up, 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 up on your tippy toes. So look, they may be even higher. So you can adjust your bridge by bringing the hands on your waist so you're on your elbows. And we're going to stay here for four. Three. Two. 
three, two, one. Slowly come down from the knees and your down. I'm down by your side. One more breath at a time, release the spine back down. Once you've come all the way down, we're just going to wince your wipe for a few times. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly come back to center, place the band on your calf. Flex the feet, hands behind the kneecap. We're gonna stay here for a moment, stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Helping you with circulation, digestion, and improve sleep quality. Couple more breath. We're gonna lift the hand chest up. Reach for the toes. Slowly come down. Lift and reach for your toes. Make sure you're not carrying any tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Slowly, slowly release the upper body down. I'm down by your side. Take an inhale the center, exhale. Bring both legs to one side. Inhale, center, exhale, the other side. So continue, inhale, center, exhale. One side, inhale, center, exhale, the other side. Continue. Slowly come back to center and we'll release the band. So we'll release the legs down, bounce it a few times, and we'll return to spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh, using the left hand gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm up, shoulder height, palm facing up, palm facing down. So if you're doing the other leg, that's perfectly fine. Hips automatically comes off. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. One more breath, and we slowly bring everything back to the center. Strain out the legs, bounce it a few times, and repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee, close to the floor, and left arm out shoulder height. Turn and look at the side of the straight arm. With every exhale breath, try to bring the top knee a little bit closer to the floor. Stretching our lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping you to relieve back pain. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Keep your knees bent, knee to chest. Wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping people to relieve back pain. And go the other way. Slowly come back to center. Lift the feet up to the sky, coming into happy baby. Holding on to end part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine and tire back. Opening up hip joint. Stretching out inner thighs. Happy baby also help people to relieve back pain. Slowly come back to center, bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, draw it close to your body. Reclining cobbler pose. 
One more breath. And we're going to slowly release. Bring your legs down. And then we're going to come to bad angles. So release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And then by your side, coming into this butterfly shape. Like gravity does its job to open up the hip joint. Slowing down the heart beat. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly chest rise like balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Couple more breaths here. And we're gonna bring the knees together, drop them to the right side, raise your right arm, roll over, coming into a fetus position. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. You're gonna come to a comfortable seated position to face the front. Inhale to open up the arms, chin up, head back. Exhale to close, chin to chest a couple more times. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. One last one. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. So thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this workout.